Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video I'll be going over some of the arc guns that I think will be very strong with the next season's arc rework. I've briefly touched on this topic in a short video and at the end of that video I asked you guys what arc guns are you excited for next season. We'll also be going over those, so this video is going to be an arc preparation guide but for the arc guns. But first I'm going to talk about the elephant in the room that is Risk Runner and Trinity Cool. These are the two most commented weapons under the Arc Preparation Guide video. And no doubt those two exotics will get their time to shine in the next season, especially Risk Runner in PvP since it provides you damage reduction. Also there are timestamps given in the description to take you directly to the start of this video. And while we wait for the new season to kick off, I've got two awesome games for you to try out as well. Mac Arena and Raid Shadow Legends are my two new favorite games while I wait for the new season. And Mac Arena is a 5v5 shooter where you get to pilot your own mechs that come with crazy abilities and high octane fast paced gameplay with a variety of different mechs to choose from. My favorite mech right now is Killshot because it offers a very fast paced gameplay and I get to use its signature melee dash ability. With the help of melee dash you will always be either initiating fights or ending them while your enemies run for their lives and there are many different other mechs for you to choose from to suit your playstyle in mech arena. And then there's Raid Shadow Legends which I'm pretty sure you've already heard of. It's actually a pretty fun and well fleshed out game where you get to pick from 700 unique champions to take into dungeons with millions of other players to fight things like dungeon challenges or clan bosses and you can even pvp battle your own friends. But from the 700 100 unique champions to pick from, my favorite one is Gallic. His Curse Blade and Hellraiser abilities really give you the potential to one-shot some enemies and really take your gameplay to the next level. There's so much to offer in terms of content from both of these games, so you have two options and both are completely free to play. Scan my QR code on the screen right now to get special loot or using the links in the description or pinned comment, you can download Mac Arena to get free bonuses worth up to $25. We're talking one Firelight skin, one Prodigy crate and one Plasma Cannon 4 which can really help kickstart your game. But also download Raid Shadow Legends using the link in the description to get free $30 bonuses. That includes free Epic Champion Aina, 200,000 silver, 1 energy refill, 1 XP boost and 1 ancient shard. All of this treasure is available for you right now and waiting for you here. So go get these games downloaded and I'll see you in the field. First weapon on this list is the Aikilos SMG. Now if Arc Reaver comes out and there's some sort of synergy between Arc class and Arc guns, Sort of like what we've seen with Volatile Rounds and Funnel Web, Aikilo's SMG will be my go-to even though Vormine Cells have been nerfed, it's still a very solid SMG even if you take the Vormine Cell part out of it. It's also one of the best SMGs I've used in the game that's ARC and it's still equally as strong in both PvP and PvE, especially with the recent buffs to SMGs. While this gun is great, the only issue with it is its availability. If you want to get it, there's no set activity you can farm for it, however Zer who comes on Fridays can sometimes bring it, so keep an eye out for that. Next up we have have the glaive Nizrix Whisper. If you asked me last season if I had a favorite glaive, I'd tell you I didn't have one. I absolutely hated glaives, but I think it was a combination of WoW the Disciple Raid and Duality Dungeon that got me into liking them because of the add density in those activities, which forced me into using them more and the more I used them, the more I realized how efficient they were at add clearing. Therefore, I would recommend you Nizrix Whisper to bring it with you next season since it's ARC and we're getting a reprised raid returning. Good thing about this glaive is that it's extremely easy to farm for solo play players and all you need to do is farm leviathan and pray to the rng gods for red frames to drop. Roles that I prefer on mine are impulse amplifier and frenzy. Next up we have forbearance. Now forbearance is a grenade launcher that I've talked about multiple times on this channel because it's one of a kind of grenade launcher. It's wave frame, it has ambitious assassin which gives you two in the magazine and chain reaction which causes arc explosions when you kill enemies with it. All in all it's a beast for ad clear. However it's limited to the raid while the disciple but there is an alternative for it for solo players. While it's not a wave frame, it gets the job done and it's also ARC. Salvager Salvo, another ARC grenade launcher that can roll with chain reaction and ambitious assassin. It's a must have if you play solo and it's extremely easy to get as well. All you have to do is make your way to the tower, head over to the Monument of Lost Light, click on Legacy Gear and you can claim it on there on the first row. Next we have the 720 RPM ARC auto rifle that's profitable, Sweet Sorrow. Being a 720 RPM auto rifle which is one of my favorite and most used ARC types means it's very good at ad clearing and what makes it even better are the perks in its arsenal. Its stats for all and one for all are perks that I prefer on my sweet sorrow. Once stats for all kicks in, recoil becomes significantly less of a problem for you which is a huge deal for console players. And even if you are on PC it's a great perk. It's also very easy to get this auto rifle, all you have to do is get the red border from the helm 
and you need three in total to be able to craft it. If you found this video helpful, a like would be highly appreciated. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe.